Okay, what is up? Out of here and welcome to a new video. Now this is going to be a regular commentary and it's been absolutely months since I posted a video like this but quite a few things been going on over these past few weeks. Made some life changing decisions, well perhaps, I don't know, probably not. But hey, I thought I would simply update you all on what's been going on. Now as you can tell from the title, I quit school. I quit school roughly three weeks or so ago. Now, I wish I could tell you that the channel is doing absolutely amazing, that I'm earning loads of money, like people like Elie, or Elite Shot, or t Martin or anyone like that. But that is not the case. But that is also not the main reason why I decided to quit. YouTube is not the main reason why I decided to quit. However, it is the reason why I thought that it was our right to quit, because I have a backup plan. I've been earning money for quite some time now, so I can go back to school if I want to, but I thought I would basically just explain to you why I decided to do what I do, because on average, about 50% of the people that I talk to agree with what I've done, agree with my decision, and about 50% disagrees with my decision because a lot of people think that school is super important, that getting a diploma is pretty much just the most important thing about your life, and I thought that it would give you my two cents about it. Now, keep in mind, I do not wish it upon anyone to think the way about school that I do because, honestly, I do believe that getting a diploma, going to school, going to college, university, whatever it might be, that will help you out. That will definitely help you out a whole lot. But it's not for everyone. It's simply not for everyone. I personally really dislike school. And I thought I would give you my two cents about it. So when I graduated from high school, which was when I was 17, I wasn't too sure what to do. In fact, I had no clue what I was going to do with my life. Because I didn't really think about it, considering that I thought that I wasn't going to pass my exams. Which I ended up doing, of course. So I stayed home for one year and that was basically the year that Black Ops Steel was the news Call of Duty. That's when I also got really into YouTube. Went from 1,000 subscribers to 44,000 subscribers. And that was also basically when I figured out that I could really make something out of this. That I could really turn this into a job if I put my everything into that. But of course, after that year I went back to school. I went to the University of Applied Sciences over here in the Netherlands. And I studied for the first year. It was called Communication Systems. And basically after that year you had to make a choice, either you were going to do game design or you were going to do brand design and then there was also web design. And when I first went there I honestly thought I was going to do game design but eventually when I got to that part of the year I figured out that programming really wasn't something for me. Not that I'm extremely bad at it or anything like that, but programming is literally one of the most frustrating things I have ever done. The amount of errors that you get when you think that you fix the error is absolutely insane. And I went mad way too often. It's kind of like playing something like the impossible game. You're bound to get mad doing something like that. So honestly, to like all the game developers out there, I respect that you are capable of doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. I couldn't possibly do it. But because of that, I basically chose brand design management instead, which is what I have been doing for the past couple of months. Now, immediately, I fell out of place. It is not that I don't enjoy designing in any way, shape, or form. But it wasn't really about that. It was mainly about like management and whatnot, which does not interest me in any way, shape, or form. Now, when it comes down to like designing things, my grades were really good. In general, my grades were really good. But I wasn't doing something that I was enjoying. In fact, I hated it. And I also had the worst possible teachers in the world. Their stupidity brought idiocy to a whole new level. And eventually, I got to a point where I flipped. I'm not going to tell you the details or anything like that. But I got beyond mad in class, and as soon as that happened, I basically knew that I had to change something. I either had to go see a shrink, or start talking to like someone else, but I had to change something. Because I was bound to go into another state of depression again. I've always been a really negative person, so keep that in mind as well. That definitely matters in this situation. But because of that, I started thinking about just quitting. Why would I not pursue something that I enjoy? Because as a kid, they always tell you that you should do something with your life that you enjoy. Then later on, they tell you to do something with your life that you enjoy. But also something that gets you a job, that guarantees you a job. And then later on, it's all about getting a job, working your entire life. Starting a family, getting a house, paying rent, taxes, and so on and so forth. And you're basically not really living anymore. And that's also how I feel about my life, or my life so far. I've never really done something that sets me apart from anyone. I've never really done something exceptional. I've always just done what people expect me to do, which is just go to school and all that jazz that comes with it. I've always done what people expect me to do and I finally decided to make a change 
that would impact my life in a positive way, or at least I hope it will. Because like I said before, I did of course take a risk by quitting school because while well, going back to school is going to cost me a heck of a lot of money. I do have that, I set that money aside, but if everything goes according to plan, that won't be the case and then hopefully I can turn YouTube into a job and then hopefully something else will grow out of that and so on and so forth because eventually I would love to be like the community manager of some sort of network, that'd be great. That would be something that I could do on a daily basis and something that I enjoy. Plus, I also started streaming more often over on Twitch. Got my Twitch partnership, but of course, if I want to make some money over there, I need to put a lot more effort into that. I do know that. I think I have three subscribers at the moment. To those guys, of course, a huge thanks. And everyone else that checked out the stream, of course, as well. Don't worry about it. I appreciate every little bit of support. But this is a risk that I took. Now, honestly, right now, I would tell you, you know, stay in school. But at one point, if I do eventually make it over here on YouTube, if things work out in my favor, then I'll be one of those guys that starts preaching, follow your dreams, do what you enjoy, because I like to think that everyone should do that, but that's just not the way society works at the moment. It's a very mean and nasty place, this world we live in, insert rocky inspirational speech. But of course, I also think that I don't say thank you enough and things like that. I need to work on that as well. Now granted, I would not have quit school if it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for you supporting my videos, I would not be where I am today. So honestly, a huge thanks to every single one of you for that. I would not be doing what I do right now if it wasn't for you, but because of YouTube, things also got a little bit more complicated with what I wanted to do in life. That is true as well, but it's definitely not something that I regret. And I personally hope that I will never regret any of the decisions that I've made over these past few years. And I don't think I will. I mean, if I look back upon these years, I think it's like a good thing, like a good memory. I hope so anyway. Now, if I had to recap the reasons why I decided to quit school, or if I had to recap the reasons why I dislike school, it's pretty straightforward. Nowadays, I feel that they don't really teach you anything that's going to help you out in later life. Or at least, not a whole lot. For instance, you learn nothing, or at least I have never learned anything about paying taxes in school. Paying rent, getting a job, applying for a job, Things of that nature, or even so much buying a house, starting a business. For someone like me, for someone who was technically speaking studying brand and design management, you'd think that they would teach you how to set up a business. Because, I mean, that's one of the main things you have to start up with. But you don't really learn things like that. And what you do learn is you learn how to speak English. And they teach you that four years in a row. You learn how to write words properly. And they teach you that five years in a row. And they teach you how to do maths. And that becomes a little bit more difficult each and every year. But why? I don't get it. I don't see the point in that. Now I'm sure that if you want to become an engineer or an architect, in those situations, those things are very, very important. But for someone like me, for someone who wants to study like things like graphic design and whatnot, it is not interesting. It is not important. It is not something that will help me out. Do not give me the same test you would also give someone that wants to do something completely different with his life. Schools need to smarten up, in a sense. They need to really smarten up. Teach us something that will actually help us out. Teach us something that will get us a job, that will allow us to basically do something that we can be proud of, that we enjoy. And if that happens in the next couple of years, I will probably go back. Because at the moment, for those of you that don't know, over here in the Netherlands, things are really messed up. I need to pay, I think like 40% of my income to the government. Those are like taxes and whatnot but they are also taking away college funds and all the money that basically goes towards school so in the near future if you want to go to college over here if you want to go to university over here you have to pay for everything yourself so i'm pretty sure that the standards of like the diplomas that you need in order to get a certain job are going to go down in the near future as well like in the next 10 years or so so things will hopefully become better in the near future but anyway I think I'll just end it here. I decided to quit school and it's mainly because of the support that I've been receiving on YouTube or at least that's a big part of the reason why I decided that it was okay to do so. I have a certain plan in mind. I'm not too sure how I'm going to make this happen just yet because for instance, I can't tell you where I'll be two years from now. I have no idea. We'll find out. Of course, once again, a huge thanks to all of you for the continued support. It's very much appreciated. I wouldn't be doing what I do today if it wasn't for you. So thank you all so much for that. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If not that school and apart from that, I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.